to the 24th episode of Mr. HTML Teacher and the first Dreamweaver tutorial I've done on this Mr. HTML Teacher channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create rollover images uh, with the rollover effect on a website. I'm going to click on my uh, folder that I've created them in and as you can see I've got two images exactly the same size but with a different effect. What they are is they reverse with the glass effect. I've done that in Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have two images I Go and create them in your Photoshop or find them from somewhere else. I'll show the story that I'm going to move on. I'm going to exit out my folder and I'm going to open up my Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. I'm going to wait for this to load up and once it has, on the create new column, I'm going to go to HTML and yours may be put on split or code. Mine is set on design. I'm going to go to insert image object rollover image. Now just to make sure you must be on design to perform this. So this dialog box will come up and I'm going to put YouTube video in. I'm going to browse my original image which is the first image I'll be using. Click OK. Browse to the second, same message will come up, click OK. You don't have to put ultimate text in. Um, I, I don't usually put that in. Um, but where it's going to go to, if you don't want it to link to anywhere at the moment, then just put a um, a hash in and click OK. As you can see this come up, now hovering over here it, it's not going to work, you, it's, you're not going to be able to see it. So you go to File, Save As and then I'm going to save it as index.html and then I'm going to go to my rollover images and as you can see it's here. Um, if it's not already set as your browser then go open with and then whatever browser you use, I'm going to use Firefox and um, wait for it to load up as you can see when I hover over the effect changes into what I wanted it to change into the rollover effect so I'm going to go to view page source now to show you the source code of this and that is deliberately why I have not performed this in a text document because it would be far too much for me to type up and it takes far too much time in the video and that is all JavaScript. Um, so I will post another um, Dreamweaver tutorial up in the upcoming days and I just want to tell you that um, I'm also going to be posting up a, another video on the Tech News UK channel and that um, will be on the iPad and what people's views are on it and um, basically what Apple have thought of it and the whole sum up of what it does. Um, I'll be starting off that video as well with, uh, by apologising. Um, I'm not going to waste too much on this video, so uh, I'll see you over on the other channel. Go check it out and thanks for watching.